we have to remember that every victory, built into every victory, are the seeds of defeat. But also built into every defeat are the seeds of victory. We have seen victory, but we cannot rest on that victory and think that it is impermeable, impermeable and impervious to harm. What we know is that the attack on diversity, equity, and inclusion, DEI, is an attack on democracy. It's an attack on education. It's an attack on how our economy works. Because what Reverend Warnock and John Ossoff, what Senator Ossoff and Senator Warnock represent, are pathways to the American dream. They are proof points. And those proof points scare those who want this world to be more narrow and more restrictive. And so we have to recognize that our opportunity to hold to those successes requires our constant attention, our constant tending. You know, voting is not magic. Voting is medicine. But it also means that it's a constant engagement, that we can't have a moment of success. We have to keep working constantly at moving ourselves forward. But wait, there's more. But once you get in there, I'm going to be fighting to make certain that you vote for Democrats up and down the ballot because I think we do a better job of promoting a strong economy, protecting our rights, and defending our people. And one of those defenses that I'm so focused on is protecting, defending, and expanding diversity, equity, and inclusion. That is an attack on access to the American dream. And as someone who has been privileged to succeed because of the American dream, I'm going to defend it for everyone else. And always, please support Fair Fight because our fight for democracy is never over. I think President Joe Biden has been an exceptional president on a range of issues. He has overperformed expectations. He has navigated incredibly difficult Since then, he hasn't shown up for debates. Now he's acting like he wants to debate me again. Well, make my day, pal. I'll even do it twice. First pick the dates, Donald. I hear you're free on Wednesday. You can't.